my name is uh, Tim Potter and I'm from the West Wickham congregation um, and I am sharing with you Genesis chapter 8 verses 1 to 22 um, as part of the devotional series that we are going through as a church um, and so obviously it's a very familiar passage it's Noah and the ark and the flood and I as I started reading it in, in verse 1 just jumped out out at me so I'm going to read you just verse 1 um, but God remembered Noah and all the live animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark um, and see God had um, put Noah in the ark he'd um, said to Noah get in the ark I'll shut the door and you leave the rest to me and now see they were in there for a uh, 150 days uh, which is, is quite a significant amount of times a, a significant amount of time um, and in that time I would imagine that Noah at some point may well have gone God wh what are you doing where are you why, why are we in this boat what, what's going on and there may well have been a possibility that Noah may even God why, why have you forgotten us there may have been a thought or a feeling of being forgotten by God and often we find ourselves doing that. We often find ourselves in situations where, uh, like Noah, we, we are in a certain situation for a significant amount of time. And that causes us. And sometimes those situations are really difficult and really hard to, to bear. Um, and there are times where we can turn around and we can say to God, where are you? Have you forgotten us? And we can ask questions like, um, why? Why me? Um, I don't understand what you're doing. Um, but I can assure you that God has not forgotten you. He never forgets us. It's not like that God forgot about Noah on, on, on the ark. It's not like he misplaced Noah. It's that God remembered Noah in the fact that he remembered the promises that he'd made to Noah and how they, they should be outworked and how they should, should be fulfilled. See, we, we need to stay the course. Noah stayed the course. He stayed the course. We need to stay the course and trust God that he knows and that he is in control and that the Philippians Chapter 3, verses 13 to 14 says this. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25. Let your eyes Look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. See, God remembered Noah and Noah remembered God. At the, at, when the, the, the ark came to rest, the first thing that Noah did is that he built an altar and he laid, made a sacrifice to God. See, that we need to know that God is faithful. That when he says he will never leave us, he will never forsake us. He means it. When God put Noah in the ark, he didn't leave him there to well around on the waves. There was plan and there was a purpose and there were promises that God outworked. The song that I have chosen is Waymaker. And there's a line in it that says, you never stop working, even though I don't see it, you're working. God is faithful. God will never leave us and never forsake us. I found myself holding on to that fact, that fact a lot recently, and it's true. So be blessed, be encouraged, whatever you're going through. God is with you. He's never going to leave you and he's never going to forsake you.